You got some dope people on the album. Tyler, the creator, Alicia Keys. You obviously collab with Raphael Sadiq on a mm. lot of things. Uh, but you did say that Alicia Keys was the first album that you purchased. What mm -hmm. album was that and what was your favorite record? Diary of Alicia Keys. Yes. Um, I liked her rendition of, um, I think she covered the Gladys Knight record, If I Was Your Woman. Yeah. I felt like she was singing to me, bro. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like six, seven years old and I'm just like, man. Yes. Right, you know what I mean? So how does that feel now to have a record with somebody that you at six years old was like she's singing oh, it's, to me? It's 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 surreal, man. Because in addition to like, it's different when you discover artists when you start making music or like yeah. in your teenage years or something like that. But it's like it's it hit a little different when it's somebody initial introduction to music. So right. I learned about music through Alicia Keys. Wow. So to get in the studio with her was kind of surreal. And you didn't have her sing on that record. Was that her choice or yours? She kind of oh mine. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. So what made you choose rap over sing? Um, I remember her um on the um the video she had with um with Most Def. Yeah. Uh what song well, was how it? Come um, you, no, um what's the thing? Now what goes up comes down. Not her first rap. You don't know my name. You don't know. Yeah, and yeah. she was doing she worked at a coffee shop. Yeah. And she was calling them up and did a, they did a back and forth. So I heard her Can phone. Can I speak voice. to Michael? Yeah. No, so I was <laughs> yeah. So I was like It'd be hard if you sounded like that type of thing. Damn, that's fire. We, we are the morning hustle.